welcome dear friends again to my youtube channel geo technical engineering consultancy tips today i will be covering the subject topic uniform settlement differential settlement angular distortion and tilt now a building is not likely to suffer a structural damage if it settles down uniformly there are many instances of uniform settlement worldwide where buildings have settled down so much that the initial ground floor is now a basement in use and the building is now one story short that was originally designed because of the very reason ke ek floor hamara one floor has settled beneath the ground in some other buildings where one had to go a few steps up in the past to enter it now has to descend a few steps down these buildings are still operational you must be surprised why they are operational because they underwent uniform settlement and are in serviceable condition still as yet such cases however require their utility services to be realigned now coming over to my next slide uniform settlement and differential settlement i will be explaining you with the help of two images uniform settlement does not cause any structural distress as the settlement produced is equal at all points you must be seeing a figure in which ground level is marked as gl a building has been marked as a dark outlined line with the original level of foundation being shown at a certain depth below the natural ground level and the dashed lines show p as the uniform settlement occurring in this building and the level of foundation after settlement is being shown as another dashed line beneath the ground level similarly on the in comparison to this left hand side figure a right hand side figure is being made showing you the two footings which shows with the footing settlement as p1 shown as dashed line on the left hand side of the this second image and p2 on the right hand side p2 is the second footing on the right hand side of this second image this shows that the differential settlement between any two points is the difference in their total settlement produced at those very particular respective reference points as is being shown in this figure so what you get, get to know is that delta p is p2 minus p1 p2 minus p1 is the settlement produced at the location of footing p2 minus the settlement produced at the location of footing p1 and if ever you want to calculate the angular distortion this would be delta p divided by l where l is the distance between th these two respective footings p1 and p2 now coming over to my third slide differential settlement angular distortion and tilt what is differential settlement if one part of the building settles relatively more than or less than the other part it is a cause of great concern and this relative movement between parts of the building is known as differential settlement angular distortion is the ratio of the differential settlement to the distance between the two points which i have just explained you in my previous slide tilt is such a form of non uniform settlement where one side of the building settles more than the other so in order to explain you about the tilt with the help of this right hand side figure shown is that tilt is another form of non uniform settlement of foundations where one side of the building settles more than the other which in turn affects the verticality of the building here what you find is the entire building has tilted and a dashed rectangular section is being shown which depicts that at location p1 that is on the left hand side of the building the settlement produced is p1 and on the right edge of the building the settlement produced is p2 therefore there is this delta p is p2 minus p1 and angular distortion calculated for this particular building would be delta p upon l which shows l as the distance between these two consecutive walls located at points p1 and p2 and a classical example of this tilt is the leaning tower of pisa as you must all be knowing about this 
Now coming over to my last and fourth slide. When differential settlement angular distortion and tilt exceed defined permissible maximum levels, the building is likely to suffer varying degrees of distress. Relation between total settlement and differential settlement is that differential settlement is always less than the total settlement. The relationship between the two depends upon the soil type. That is, in case of sand, maximum differential settlement is very close to the maximum total settlement in general. And in case of clays, maximum differential settlement is much smaller than the maximum total settlement in general. Hope you people have got a slightly better idea of all these terms, uniform settlement, differential settlement, angular distortion and tilt. Keep on watching and subscribing to my YouTube channel, Geotechnical Engineering Consultancy Tips. Thank you. Thank you very much.